Victoria Jenner is tracing a piece of buried Cornish history for a postgraduate research project. She's part of a new generation of historians learning how fortifications like St Moore's Castle failed to fend off slave traffickers from North Africa during the 17th and 18th centuries. The so-called Barbary pirates targeted Cornwall in particular, along with other European coastal regions. Some studies show over a million people were captured in total to be sold in African slave markets. What I've been finding out is that from 1609 to 1617, when it really first becomes introduced, Barbary piracy becomes introduced into the, into the Cornish coastline as a threat for the people. And they are pillaging, taking, trafficking people. And you think, why, why hasn't it been looked into? Why has all of this information not been brought to the surface of our history books? Victoria learned about Barbary pirates under Exeter University history professor Jo Ezra. She's campaigning to get this slave trade that impacted so heavily on Cornwall to be better known. There's an element that it has been culturally erased in some way. This is an incredibly um, significant um, aspect of, of history of the Southwest, but Cornwall in, in, in particular. Quite often um, we hear about the, the top-down history, the kind of the big figures of history, the great men, the Sir Walter Raleigh's, for example. Very rarely do we hear about the ordinary people. And this was an aspect of history that impacted enormously on those ordinary maritime communities. They were the ones that were enslaved and they were the ones that were taken and they were the communities that were decimated through the activities of the Barbary pirates. Corsairs stole our families across the sea. All the way to Barbary, land of slavery. In Penzance, actors from Tin Theatre are rehearsing for a new play set to tour Cornwall, Eloise Tregeagle. It tells of Barbary pirates and Cornish slaves. Man, women and shield, white, gold. That's what they come here for, those strange sails in the night. White slave. Director Gavin Nichol says people in the region should know of this history. It seems to have just got missed out of the history books. It's just looking at the scale of it in terms of the, uh, the, t the two centuries that it took place over, the numbers of people who were abducted and the absolute abject misery that it must have caused during that time. So what's this document here? This is this In is Cornwall's records office, several documents from the 17th century tell of desperate relatives from places like Falmouth, Iluggan and Truro pleading for ransom money to buy back family members from slavery. This is um, a petition from a man called John Belitho, who's formerly of the borough of Penryn, now a captive in Sally. And your petitioner and company all made slaves, where now your petitioner lies under very great servitude. The horrors of the transatlantic slave trade are well documented, but these stories of Cornish slaves in North Africa are less well known. Now there are moves to change that. Martha Dixon, BBC Spotlight, Cornwall.